Hi, welcome back to Mahiti Dunya YouTube channel, my dear students and friends. In this video, we are going to have the update on uh, VTU results first semester. So we'll see just now the VTU results have came for 2021 scheme. So how you should calculate SGPA? Because in the marks card, they have just given you the total number of marks. So how you should calculate your first semester SGPA? SGPA stands for semester grade points average okay so for individual semester you will get individual sgpa let's calculate your first semester sgpa okay so it is for 2021 scheme so carefully observe it's very easy first here now i have considered a chemistry cycle the students who have written for chemistry cycle and also physics also same you just uh, for uh, simplicity i have considered chemistry subject let's chemistry cycle okay in the chemistry cycle i have just listed out the subjects which are there so mathematics is there chemistry is there psp is there electronics is there mechanical is there chemistry lab computer lab english idt or sfs subjects anyone will be there okay so now we should first analyze for each of the subject what is the credits is there so mathematics three credits is there chemistry three psp three electronics and communication engineering three mechanical three chemistry lab 3 computer lab 3 english 2 idt or sfh you are studying any one so it is one correct so total number of credits so you should take each credit and total number of credits you can add all these credits so it becomes 20 okay now this is the first step in calculating sgpa Next, after this, I have the formula for SGPA calculation. SGPA is equal to sum of credits multiplied by grade for each subject divided by number of credits. Okay, so this is a formula. We will see this formula later. For time being, just now look at this. One second. So, I'll, okay. So, concentrate on only this paper this paper which is having a result sheet now i assume that this is the result sheet now look at this so here i will be having total uh, subjects so result sheet in the maths in the result sheet in the total marks just look at what is the total marks you got carefully observe don't look at cie uh, internal marks don't look at external marks so just look at total number of marks so i have considered one student he got in the mathematics total marks 95 chemistry total marks 81 psp total marks 66 eln total marks 82 mechanical 76 chemical chemistry lab uh, 94 computer lab 98 english 90 and idt or sfh so it is sfh he has taken so sfh marks is 81 okay so kindly look at only the total marks after total marks then take out the grades this is grades how you should put the grades is just look at now if it is 95 look at the marks of mathematics how much 95 so look at the first digit of 9 so just add 1 for that you will get 10 so 95 the first digit is 9 just add 1 plus for 9 you will get 10 similarly look at the second subject chemistry 81 first digit is 8 add 1 so you will get 9 so put it 9 here similarly do it for all since it is 66 the first digit 6 add 1 you will get 7 so similarly do it for if you have 82 you will get 9 if you have 76 the 7 next digit is 8 94 the next digit is 10 98 the next digit is 10 so like this it is going to be the total grades uh, not total grades individual grades for individual subjects it's very easy to write grades next credits these credits are nothing but what are the credits which i mentioned here just mention the credits for all these subjects okay same look at here 20 i have mentioned here 20 also okay so now once you mention the grades and credits you should multiply this credits and it is grades so i will call this as c into g c stand for credits g stand for uh, grades okay so now just multiply each one 10 into 3 is 30 9 into 3 is 27 7 into 3 is 21 
9 into 2 3 is 27, 8 into 3 is 24, 10 into 1 is 10, 10 into 1 is 10, 10 into 2 is 20, 9 into 1 is 9. Totally, the C into G, I am getting 78 after multiplication. How many number of total credits are? 20. Okay. Now, the formula plays a major role. Now, look at the formula. Sum of credits into grades. Sum of credits into grades is nothing but 178. Okay. Observe this carefully. Sum of credits and grades is nothing but 178. Divided by total number of credit is nothing but 20. So now we will consider the next page. So here semester grade percentage formula is summation of CI into GI divided by number of credits. What is CI into GI is 78. Just 178. Just observe. 178 we got from here. C into G. Total sum. Okay. Next, divided by number of credits. How, how many number of credits are there? So, total 20. So, if I if I divide this, I am going to get a first semester SGPA for this student. For this example, I got 8.9. Okay. So, it just now the result came. So, I have considered, I have taken one USA number and I have seen the result. And this is a percentage of that student. Uh, not percentage, SGPA of that student. That is 8.9. Nine. Okay, so now after this, now I will. Uh, uh, what is that semester grade point average? That's fine. Now, a uh, few of the students are having a doubt that what is CGPA? C stands for cumulative grade points average. Everything is same. Now, what is SGPA? What is the formula for SGPA that you know here? What is the formula for CGPA is summation of CI into SI divided by summation of CI. Then you should be aware what is SI? SI is semester grade points average of 8th sem. CI is total number of credits. Now, for example, now I will consider this example only. CGPA is equal to. So, here what is ci ci stands for total number of credits for this example total number of credits is 20 what is uh, semester grade sgpa of 8th sem sgpa i is here first sem sgpa of first sem is 8.9 which we got here divided by summation of credits how many credits are there 20 okay so if i do this so 20 20 will get cancels if the resulting is 8.9 Okay, since it is a first semester, both SGPA as well as CGPA is 8.9. Okay, so SGPA means only semester calculation. CGPA means all the semester calculation. Now, why both are same is CGPA uh, cumulative grade points average. So, here only one semester is conducted. That's why it is same. Suppose if... Assume that now you are in the second semester and you got the results of second semester. At that time, CGPA obviously changes. Okay. So, it is, this is going to be changes. Everything changes. So, don't worry about that. So, worry about only the first semester SGPA as of now. If somebody asks you what is SGPA and CGPA of yours, it must be same as a first semester. But say for sem second semester, CGPA varies. Okay. So, this is how you can tell your SGPA and CGPA. Now, you are having one more doubt that what is the percentage you are having? That is a one more doubt. So, how to calculate percentages? So, very simple. Whatever the SGPA you got, you just subtract it by 0.75. So now in this case, I got here as 8.9 minus 0 0.75. Okay. So what is 8.9 minus 0 0.75 will give you percentage. Okay. So here, what is the percentage you will get is yes, so 10, 5 subtraction. So you will get 5. So you got 8, 7. So you will get. 1 okay so 8 7 so 1 so you will get here this is as it is so 8.15 so 
you should multiply this with 100 so you will get 81.5 so cross check uh, since i don't have the calculator at this point so you can you can just calculate like this 8 point minus 0.7 then you should do it for 100 so if you want just i will i will open the calculator also and uh, we will cross check now so just i'm um, searching the calculator so we'll do it for 8.9 minus 0 0.75 okay into 100 one second so 8.15 8.15 into 100 oh, some something one second 8.9 minus 0 0.75 so 8.15 into 1 second something huh, 8.15 into so you, you should get it as 81 percentage okay so that is regarding uh, your stpa calculation so i hope i am almost correct so here stpa i will show you so stpa one second stpa is 8.9 so you should subtract 0.75 from this okay so that is going to be your percentage okay that is the difference between sgpa that is the difference between sgpa cgpa and how to calculate your percentage so subtract 0.75 from the sgpa you will get the percentage so this is about the video of first semester 2021 scheme sgpa calculation Okay, go through the video, share this information, how to calculate percentage, STPA and CGPA of your first semester. So, I hope everybody got the good results. So, if anybody got the backlogs, I will tell in the next video what you should do. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. As I mentioned, as exact date, the same results has came. I told it will come between 17 to 15. So, it is today 15, the result has came. Okay, so do subscribe our channel. Click on the bell icon for the latest notifications. We will see in the next video.